Okay, mm, I'll bring a scenario so that you look at the application of this principle. So that's yes, that's that's it. And then I'll, I'll write as if this one is a circle down here. Do you remember those similar triangles I was, I, was, I was doing for you? This is a similar triangle. Have you seen the triangle on top? But I'm trying to I'm trying to teach you a principle here so that you know the way it works. And then I'll draw that like this. And then I'll draw another. Uh -huh. Have you seen this? This is a this is a pyramid, but I've got two similar triangles. The principle I was teaching you yesterday, you see, there's this triangle here. Have you seen? And the other one beside. So sometimes they may give you, they may say this one is four. Okay? They may say this one is eight. Okay? And then they may say the distance from here, from here to there, they may just say it is six. Have you seen? And then they'll tell you. What is the volume of this down part? This one here. This one. Okay. This one that I'm putting this color here. Okay. So what is the volume. Have you seen? So it means I can't find the volume without me knowing the height. Okay? So the first thing I do is I split this into similar triangles. Okay? So I split this diagram into similar triangles. So it means I have to remove this car part on top, this car one, this car cap on top, I have to remove it. This one just got four. I have to remove it, I have to chop off. So I have, I have to subtract two volumes. But for me to do so, I'll do what? First write similar triangles. So the first similar triangle, I think I taught you. So you write the small triangle and the larger triangle. I'm from a, I taught this in the previous lecture. So what is a, um, the height of, um, uh, actually, this is from where? Okay. This six, six is from there. To there down, okay. This distance from here to here is six. It's a height from there to there. Okay. So the height of a small triangle. So there it's x. I do not know. There it's four. What about down here? The larger the larger triangle is what? The larger triangle here it's eight. So it is eight there. The large triangle it's eight. And then this one is it. 6 plus x. Okay, that's the distance, 6 plus x. The distance from, from here to there is 6, plus the distance from the, this point to that point is x. I taught you this. So you need to be very, very smart about it. And then, using this principle, you do those things I was teaching you yesterday. So it is 8 over, uh, I mean not 8, mm, you remember how to do this. This is the uh, four over eight. So four over eight, you remember how to do this. Four over eight is equal to uh, eight X, I mean X over six plus X. And then you do cross multiply. You solve, you solve, you solve, solve. You remember this. So when you find, for example, your X is two, but you need to solve you yourself. I've taught you this. When you, f you found that your X is two, for example. So what do you do? You have known that your X is two. That's when I find the volume. So, you have two volumes, the volume of the larger triangle and the volume of the smaller triangle. So the smaller pyramid, so the pyramid which is small is on top like this, this car one. And then there's also the volume of the larger pyramid. You have to subtract these two volumes, okay? So volume of this one is one over three uh, pi radius squared h of volume of this one also, one over three, pi radius squared h. Why is it radius squared? Because it's a circle. I explained this. So it will be 1 over, so I'll start, these are the two formulas. So I'll start with the smaller circle. Okay? So the volume of the smaller circle. So volume of small circle. 
I mean smaller pyramid, sorry, small pyramid. So volume, it will be one over three times, what is by 22 over seven times. What's the radius of the smaller circle? I'm, I'm dealing with which one? I'm, I'm now finding the volume of the smaller circle because I've spined two volumes, the volume of a smaller circle and the volume of a large circle. So the radius of a smaller circle, it is four. From the diagram here, the smaller pyramid, I mean, it is four. Here, we can see the volume, the, the red is four there, as you can see, it is actually four. So don't get confused, this is four here, four. Okay, so four, what do you do? Four square, four squared times, what is the height? The height is what? It is two, that's the one we found. The height is two. You may be asking, well, come away, how did you find the two? We said X is two. This X is two. And this X is this one here, which is the height of the Casmola pyramid, the Casmola triangle, which is X there. So X is two. But you, you, you calculate it. I'm just teaching you the principle. I don't know if it's two, but calculate using your, 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 your formulas. Okay? So after you calculate, maybe you find it. After you calculate, maybe you find uh, your answers. Uh, you punch this into your calculator. I don't know how much this is going to give you. Let's say it gives you, uh, it gives you 25. Then you put 25 there. Cubic square. Again, this is a vo this is a this is a volume of a what? A small circle. Small. Now I mean a small a small pyramid. You do you now do the volume of a large pyramid. So volume of a large pyramid is also one over three. Base area, it is pi radius squared times height. So you start 1 over 3 times pi, 22 over 7 times radius. What's the radius of a larger, a larger triangle? You come there. The larger triangle is this one. The radius is what? 8. So you come there, you pick 8. So it will be 8 what? 8 squared times what's the height of this, of this larger triangle? The height of a larger triangle. I come there. What's the height? The height is what? The height is uh, it is uh, six plus x, but x is two. So it means six plus uh, x is two. So la it's eight. Eight is a is a total height. So there again I put what eight. When I punch this on a calculator, let's say I get. I get 50, for example. Okay, so now the volume that is required, the volume needed to be equal to the volume of a larger circle minus, I mean, larger pyramid minus the volume of a smaller pyramid. The larger pyramid was 50 minus the volume of pyramid was 25. So the subtraction of these two volume will give you 25. This is the volume that is required. So it's a subtraction of the two volumes. I hope you have understood. I know it's a bit difficult to explain this, but I, I don't know if I've got the point.